boom for real hey guys <laughs> we are back and we're going to be um, working on our piece of art today based on that artist we talked about last week Jean-Michel Basquiat now Basquiat was really cool because he started out as kind of a street artist who would do graffiti and then he moved on and became super famous in the art world and had art shows and stuff with some of his art. But I love his style of art. He would make art that looked like this. Or he would make art that looked like this. But whenever he was doing his art, he would let things influence him. He would be listening to music. He would be um, looking at comics and books around his room and letting the images and the pictures in them inspire him. So a lot of times his artwork would be kind of based on things in his life. That's why last week I asked you to um, play some video games and listen to some music and let some of those things plop into your brain. Now, one thing I really like, whenever he was inspired, he had a little catchphrase. So if he saw something that really inspired him or heard a song that really inspired him, he would say, boom for real. <laughs> or he was feeling boom for real. So whenever you have something come up in your artwork, feel free to yell out, boom for real. <laughs> but we're going to use some of those things that you may have seen, and we're gonna put them in our pictures. Now, a lot of times Basquiat would have multiple pieces of art going on at once. He would do a little on this one, and he would do a little on this one, and he would do a little on this one. So I want you to have two pieces of paper and just kind of bounce back and forth. Maybe you were listening to some music and some words that are school appropriate got into your brain. So maybe you could write some lyrics. Mr. Galloway was listening to a song uh, the other day, and this sentence got in my head, it said, I used my feet to crush dead leaves. <laughs> I don't know why that image just got in my brain and I kept imagining it. So I'm gonna put that little sentence in one of my pieces of art here. Um, my son has been playing a bunch of, uh, he got back into Luigi's Mansion, so he's been playing that, so maybe I'll put a little ghost on this side, almost like a little boo. <laughs> I could put my little boo ghost over here. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, maybe I could think about other things I've been watching or doing. Um, I've been reading this kind of fantasy book that has maps in it, and it actually inspired me to uh, do a map project with one of my younger grades. So maybe I could start to put almost like a little map at the bottom of this piece of art. That could be pretty cool. Maybe it's like a treasure map. <laughs> and maybe over here... Um, I've got the video game theme going on, so maybe I'll put my little Triforce. And I could think of some line or something from the game. So since I have the Triforce, I'll put Hero of Time. <laughs> that could be kind of cool. So I've just started to put some things down. And it doesn't have to, um, you know, you don't have to really, like, think about this too much. It's kind of like a freestyle art where you're just kind of drawing and adding things as you go. You might be inspired to put something over here. You might be inspired to put something over here. And that's fine. I'm using crayons so far because, um, well, first of all, Basquiat liked using crayons and markers and stuff like that. But also, this is going to look really cool when we add color next week. So um, I would probably stick with crayons for it. So you could think about one or two more things to put in. Maybe um, we could think of some things Basquiat liked to use in his artwork. One thing he always put in his art, um, well not always, but he, he liked to put a crown on his pictures a lot of times to kind of show importance of a certain person or a certain thing in it. So he would draw a little crown. So maybe somewhere in your picture you could put a crown. Um, if you remember from the story, he would often, uh, when he was growing up and he was injured and his mother gave him that um, book about anatomy, a lot of times he might have like a, he liked to put like skulls and bones and 
things like that in his pictures too because he I think still had that um, <laughs> images from that book stuck in his head for life so maybe you could put like some bones or skulls or hands or anything from a you know um, that would work like that um, if you if you're doing it you notice I kind of went over some of my other artwork and that's fine um, I could even put my little crown on my skull that would look really cool but you can see I'm just kind of putting images I'm putting things from different uh, different styles different I'll put a pokeball over here <laughs> you can put things from um, all kinds of different books different games different movies different whatever but I've kind of filled my page it almost kind of has that like graffiti look where it's like a mix of things together boom for real so um, once you're done you might like this one better you might like this one better you might be inspired to start a third one that kind of mixes some of those together but I want by the end you to have some kind of paper that ha that's full of words and sketches and drawings from different things okay so this one's a little more video gamey this one's just a mix of things that were going on around me the map project the words from a song my Basquiat skull both of them have a crown you might want to put a crown somewhere in your picture Basquiat liked animals he liked dinosaurs there's a really cool famous Basquiat picture of a t-rex <laughs> that I really like um, that I'll show real quick but you could put some more stuff in it but I just want you to fill your page with some cool images next week we're gonna color it in kind of in the style Basquiat would color in as well but keep going maybe you want to put some uh, just little extra lines or you want to outline some things maybe you want to add some little details anything you think that would make this look like a more interesting picture you can keep adding words you can keep adding pictures you could add lines you could add swirlies what is but I'm really excited to see what you come up with boom for real when you finish, make sure you post it on Google Classroom. A lot of people are not posting their artwork and it breaks poor Mr. Galloway's heart. So try to post what you got when you're done and I cannot wait to see how these come out. All right, see you next time.